I am melting. I'm so glad John does the outside because I've been in the air conditioning. Seems there can be sun one day and the next there's driving rain. Oh, but it's worth it. Life is worth every drop of rain. Life's worth every drop of rain. We are just about ready to hit the road. Today we are going to Florida just so we can check it off on our map. I know, it's terrible. And the beach. Our rule is that we have to stay overnight in the state at least one night with Wendy in order to check it off of our map. And we are only two hours away from the Florida border and we are not sure if we're gonna get back down here anytime soon. So we're gonna go take a jaunt down. Oh, you guys, look at this. It is really humid out here. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a trip down, stay overnight in Fort Clinch, mark it off our map, and hopefully get back to Florida again in the future. It's sort of like our Utah trip, how we just made a little trip up, stayed a night, and came back down. So we are going to check it off our map. Hopefully we'll get back, because I'd love to see the keys someday. <laughs> Flip my mirror up. Yeah. I'm still getting used to these. Other way. So you know what? Inside. Pretty much. Push it up. All my footage is kind of foggy Dude, because my phone fogs up every time. Yeah. I... Well. <laughs> south. Yes. All right. Let's go further south. Let's go further south. things that we really love about RVing and this lifestyle is the ability to just get up and go somewhere even if there was a 70% chance of rain. Sometimes rain, whether actual rain or metaphorical rain, can be excuses that keep us trapped inside a box and prevent us from taking the unordinary path. Next time it's raining and you have plans, go anyway. But luckily, luckily we uh we already we pulled in and then it started pouring. So we didn't have to like park in the rain, but we are having to set up in the rain, which is kind of yucky. Here and I Hopefully it's gonna pass fast because we're only here for one night and we really want to go to the beach. I know the bikes are getting soaked. Well, at least we weren't out riding. Right? That's good. He's getting his tablet. Raining. We're hoping it's gonna click, clean up, clear up, clean up. But this is our only night here, and we came here so the doggos could play in the sand. <laughs> I kind of like that we're like gated in. Oh, that's so cool. I know the kids are super bummed, but the lightning is getting intense in the distance and it's coming this direction. So we're vacating the beach. We just wanted to dip our toes in and let the dog get a chance on the beach as there aren't very many dog friendly beaches around here, it seems. So heading back to the rig for some dinner and hoping that we get some better weather tomorrow. Treated this morning by one of the most creepiest looking spiders I have ever seen. Is it just me or does that look like a skull to anybody? 
if this guy jumps on me, I'm gonna freak out. For reference, that's how big he is. Just hanging out. All right, we're packing up again. I'm pretty sure I just swept an entire sandbox out of Wendy, but we're at it again on our way to the beach for one last trip before we head back to North Carolina. She's like, what, I'm ready to sunbathe. Yes, I'm ready for the sunbathing. Ooh. This is like two minutes out in the sun. It's like just, I'm, I'm just, I'm dripping. <laughs> Trying to walk somewhere where there's not so much noise, but there's all kinds of bug noise, and you're gonna get wind noise too. But Fort Clinch is a really nice place to stay. I would say we've been very impressed with state parks recently on our trek down here, up in Georgia, and now here in Florida. And I've heard that there are a lot of fantastic Florida state parks. We hope to explore them one day, but for now, this is the first and only one that we will be visiting here in Florida right now. But it is an excellent place. They've got an Atlantic Beach campground. They also have a river campground. The Riverside is where we stayed, but even there, you're only an 11 minute bike ride to the beach here, or a quick drive. Hey. Hey. I'm just talking about Fort Clinch and how cool it is. It is a cool, man, I wish we were here for a little bit longer, but yeah. that's, you know, say la vie. I mean, it's, uh, I'm glad that we were here. It just, just the drive mm -hmm. down that main road with yeah. the sunshine coming through the trees, the big oaks with all the Spanish moss. It's was amazing. Beautiful. It's so beautiful. And I feel like the park is really nicely spaced out and it's got le lots of paved roads that you can bike right on, but it, there's also single track trails all throughout, yep. which we didn't have a chance to try, but we uh, Much feel like the they, chagrin. I know, we feel like they would be really fun. And they have a bike station here to clean your bike up when yeah. you're done, Really cool, which place. is pretty awesome. The only downside I would say is it's not exactly pet friendly. Yeah, <laughs> not pet friendly. The doggos gives it a one out of four yeah um but you the know. thing is is that the, the beach here is no pets allowed the pets are only allowed in your campsite essentially or on the roads if you take them for a walk but just outside of the park is another beach called main beach it's right on the atlantic side it's, it's less it's, than 10 minutes out of the park yeah I so mean, you take a, you, you go out the park gates you take a left and you're pretty much you're there. right there and um so and I'm it's and it's dog friendly so it's really nice we're probably not going to spend a lot of time at the beach inside the park since we have Cinder with us, but we give this uh, state park a, a thumbs up for sure. Look at our white cars and our white windy. And they look really good from a distance. You just don't get too close and you'll see how really dirty they are. Well, windy needs to be like waxed. Yeah. You gonna drive? You gonna drive us there? You gonna drive? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Checkout is at one and it's only, well, it's almost noon now. <laughs> because Farnsworth time. So what we've done is we've decided that we, our passes are good for the day. We're just parking Wendy here in the State Park Beach parking lot because it's, there's a lot of space here. And then we're gonna drive to the public beach so we can take Cinder with us. So we're just pulling out of the park and like literally there's the ocean right there. That's the park. Well, there's this That's, one stoplight and yeah. then there's the beach parking. Yeah, so, so it's, it's really literally right outside the state park. tide was last night where all of these washed up shells are and look at how far it's out now Something attached onto you? Yeah. <laughs> See it crawling? Ow. Well, it might sting you. That is might that, be what's stinging you. Is that what stung him? It could be. 
It doesn't sting on the back side. found out it was probably the starfish. There's yeah. lots of them around here, aren't there? Oh, yeah. You're collecting things in your pocket? This one and this one. Crazy. Those are cool. like the storms are heading back in. Well, it was a little short-lived. It was still a good trip. It was still a good trip. Short. We certainly had some excitement. It was too short, yeah. The rain came in and forced us to get off the, off the, everyone is, I'm full of sand. Everyone's like full of sand, but the smooch had a good time. There is a really cool fort here also. We didn't have time to go see it, but there is a junior ranger program. Florida, it has been fun. Hot, but still fun. Uh, we are on our way back up to North Carolina now. We probably have a stop to make since it's kind of a long drive, so we'll probably boondock someplace tonight. So that might be interesting in this heat. I think it's, I think I'm up for the challenge though. Life's got a lot of moving parts from unknown brand and made. There's gonna be a lot of stops and starts, both good and bad this day. Seems there can be sun one day, and the next there's driving rain. Oh, but it's worth it. Life is worth every drop of rain. something that I normally recommend, but we are running the generator all night long tonight. It's so hot and so humid. It would be absolutely miserable all night long. So we're running the generator. It is locked up outside. We don't normally run our generator all night long, but I don't think anyone would get any sleep if we did. So here we are. We're running it just topped it off with gas and I'm headed to bed finally. Good morning everyone. Coffee is going. Look out here. You can't see. Let's step into the light. And it seems life's got a lot of moving parts from unknown brand and made. There's gonna be a lot of stops and starts, both good and bad this day. Seems there can be sun one day, and the next there's driving rain. Oh, but it's worth it. Life is worth every drop of rain. Beautiful morning. Nobody here, and the kids are over here checking out the water. John's droning. It is, however, very humid, so I'm going to stay in here. Um, the Jenny died, so the air conditioning died, but it's still there's some still leftover air conditioning inside here. I'm get my coffee made, and then we're gonna get pa packed up and head to Hendersonville, where we are going to finish out our contract in North Carolina. docking spot at Bobcat Boat Landing in what city is this? 
somewhere in South Carolina. <laughs> we'll have a link to all the description and everything, just like we do on our boondocking uh, a guide. So make sure to check it out. But definitely uh, a solid boondocking spot. As you can see, we are the only ones here. Now, this is a boat ramp launch area. In fact, there is the boat ramp right there into a river. And there are places to swim here. We met some locals last night, said that they certainly do. I will say I didn't want the boys getting into it this morning because the water looks like motor oil. <laughs> it doesn't have the viscosity of motor oil, but it has the color, which is really weird. I've not seen water that looks like that or like Coca-Cola maybe. It's a little funky. Plenty of room for very large rigs here. They say people park here all the time. We were the only ones here last night. Ran the generator the whole night, had an AC. It was great. Good spot. This last minute trip was certainly not glamorous, but it was fun. And it did help us remember what it was that we loved so much about our RVing. The ability to get up and go explore and do it together. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you out there, rain or shine. Seems there can be sun one day and the next there's driving rain. Oh, but it's worth it. Life is worth every drop of